<laughs> yeah, that's always a problem. Well, here we go, moving on to the uh, south front dormer. And uh, just checking to see what needs to be done. It's really in a lot better shape than the other one, believe it or not. In terms of, you know, the weather proofness and stuff like that. And, yeah, I'm not happy with the way that the shingles come right up here. But I don't really have time to fix it. <sighs> That's something I'll address later. The house really needs to get done. But most, you know, most of the here I just see patching and painting. Oh, I'll probably have to replace this like I did in the other one. And uh, bundle these up. Bondo's a lot cheaper than the wood epox. And uh, for a big flat surface, it'll be fine. Now, uh, first job is the sill, always. I have the duct tape here, because this is where I was getting in and out for the other sill. And this, it just, you know, look at that. See that? So, it's gonna need a lot of work. But then it always does. <clears throat> these are the original window frame, the window sash, to use the term. You can see the pegged tenons. There's another one. I need to put the dowels in there to keep it all together. 1885 joinery, it's really neat. And let's see here. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh yeah, well that's gonna be fun. There's a big divot out of the eave there that really needs to, I have to get, it's just too big. That'll be fun. Uh, simple reconstructive surgery here. But that's actually pretty simple. You know, the whole thing is I want to get this done as quickly as possible. Not make a big thing out of it but still do my usual fabulous job. And <sighs> old growth redwood. This has taken ooh, 128, 130 years of the worst capacity in the sun has to offer. And it's still here. I mean, it's, it's you know, <sighs> shows its age. But if you were 130 years old, you'd be a little dry and wrinkled too. Well, on to the work. <laughs>